running for audio. Welcome, welcome to a Tin Dog Podcast. This time we're going to be hitting the big finish shelves again with number three of the New Adventures of Binny Summerfield. So that's the New Adventures of Binny Summerfield, Volume 3, The Unbound Universe. Now Volume 2, which was out some time ago, had Sutek in it and of course a rather scatty Seventh Doctor. It's always nice to have the Seventh Doctor hanging around with Binny, but here we've got the, well, the rather sneaky... Third Doctor. Not the John Pertwee Third Doctor. Oh no, the Unbound Universe Third Doctor. That's the one who'd met David Tennant. The one who used to travel with, well, the Brigadier. That's the retired Brigadier. Oh, how I wish we'd had more of those stories. And he's coming from his universe to ours. And of course, on the front of the box, as well as this Doctor, the one played by David Warner, we've got Mark Gatiss. If you want to cast your mind back far enough... You've got him down as the master. So this is the universe where the third Doctor is more of time's champion. And of course, president of the universe. He's got a drier wit than John's third Doctor. But he's still pretty much the Doctor. Yes, probably not the one anyone was looking for. So here we've got a box set, set in something. Melissa Bauman is always going to be close to our hearts as big Finnish listeners without her the range would not have grown we wouldn't have, we wouldn't have big Finnish as we know it the BBC would have gone that's very nice on you go she's been doing this for nearly 20 years and you just can't tell yes where we are in Bernie's timeline is beyond me yes she's got a life she's got a family she's got well everything she isn't River Song, and yet River Song might not exist without her. She's the better archaeologist. We know all this. This is something we all hold close to our souls. So when this alternative universe doctor turns up in order to nick Benny and take her through to his universe and use her as an anchor, well, that's great. It's only when you listen to the extras, after you've listened to all of the stories, all four of them, that you realise that they are, in some small way taken as an origin point twists on third doctor stories it's genius because i didn't spot any of this admittedly planet x felt felt more like a really genuinely scary version of well the happiness patrol without any form of candy man and lots of the others felt different it wasn't until i heard the extras and where the stories had come from that I realised this. So here you've got a boxed set of four Doctor Who stories, but it's four Doctor Who stories with a new, different Doctor. Of course, you've got Benny as your identifying point, and you've got Mark Gatiss playing, well, let's call him the manager, and we'll come back to him later. Very small descriptions are in the synopsis because I don't want to give away too much. Number one, The Library in the Body, written by James Goss. James always provides us with some cracking material. Doesn't let us down here. Great characterisation, funny and poignant and just well done. So it's release number three, obviously. So it's the first story. In a dying reality, knowledge is the only thing left of value. And the Kareem have come to destroy it. Can Benice and the Doctor save the last library? It's a great story. And you know, a dying, folding-in universe feels so much more Twelfth Doctor than anything else. Planet X is the one I mentioned earlier, the one that feels like a twisted version of the Happiness Patrol. Benice and the Doctor land on a planet so dull, no one has ever bothered naming it. Finally, something interesting is about to happen. This is a tremendous, dark, encapsulating, heavy story. Not heavy in the sense of, oh, it's difficult to take... It's just so likely. I don't want to give away any more spoilers than that, but it definitely is a hidden gem of the Doctor Who universe. 
Which brings us to story three. Una McCormick is bringing us the very dark thing. In an idyllic world, the rivers hum to themselves. Unicorns prance through the emerald forests. And at the very corner of your eye is a horrible secret. Incredible. In those two lines, you get the whole story and the feel of it. And if I say any more than that, it becomes spoiler territory. Again, another cracking tale. I cannot fault this box set. If you've ever thought about giving Bernie a go in any sense, you don't need anything else. You don't need to have bought any of the other packages. You don't need to have bought volumes one, two, or any of the old back catalogue or read the books at all. It's this one. Just pick this one up and buy this one. You'll get to experience David Warner being just brilliant. Which brings us to the final release in this boxed set. And let's face it, for £20, that's the CD and the download price, you're not going to be robbed. It genuinely, genuinely isn't a problem. This is £5 per story and it'll last you ages, genuinely. It's the highlight of this month's releases. The Emporium at the End. The last song has been sung and the final days of the universe have begun. Everyone flees to the gateway to find the Emporium at the End is having a closing down sale. It's got a brilliant cast. You've got David Warner, you've got Lisa Bauman, you've also got Zeb Soames, Guy Adams. Yes, Guy Adams. Tom Webber, Rowena Cooper, Alex Jordan, Sophie Wu, Julie Graham, Julie Graham, Damian Lynch, Kerry Goodison, Deidre Mullins, George Bladen, Richard Earle, Aaron Neal, Laura Doddington, Lisa Hopling, and of course, at the very bottom of the list, Sam Kisgard as the master. If you get the chance, scroll back through the last few Big Finish podcasts and hear the interview with Sam Kisgard. Yeah. Of course it's an anagram, but Sam himself, well, the interview with him is one of the single funniest things you will ever hear. Ever. Go and seek it out, but only after you've listened to this trailer and decided for yourself. So until next time, be seeing you. Am I addressing Professor Summerfield? Oh, it's a lazy Susan with you lot these days. Which one are you? Oh, you're fun. Which one am I? The wrong one. Professor Summerfield, I need you. Take my hand, quickly. Hey! Coming soon from Big Finish Productions. Doctor Who, The New Adventures of Bernie Summerfield. Professor Bernie Summerfield, archaeologist. The Doctor, intergalactic adventurer, saviour of planets, king of the universe, etc., etc. I have a card if you'd like one. Doctor, look around you. This universe is dying. Okay, so how long have we got? Until the stars grow cold, the planets crumble, and every last atom is torn apart. (laughs) Around about tea time. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. All are welcome to the library. Woo! (laughs) (laughs) Bottoms up. Yeah, whatever. You glow, Bernice. You shine. A woman who faces death with a glass in her hand and a smile on her lips. It was wonderful. A polite word to the pursuing fighters. You can shoot at me as much as you like, but I'm faster, determined, and in a contrary mood. So, I'm not going to let you stop me now. Typical doctor, never admitting you're wrong, even at the end of the universe. Big Finish. We love stories. That was the Doctor Who Tin Dog Podcast. Available on iTunes, YouTube, Twitter, RSS, Vimeo, and across the internet. 
Doctor Who and its associated properties are all copyright and trademark of the BBC. No infringement is intended. Why not become a supporter by visiting patreon.com slash tin dog. Contact the show on tin-dog at hotmail.co.uk. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance.